My name is John Haytab. I'm the art teacher here at Beaver Meadow Elementary School in Concord, New Hampshire. Uh, but I also direct the student actors program, a student theater program that we've been running for the past 23 years, I believe. Our show this year is called Broadway Dreamin', and it features uh, seven different Broadway shows. Uh, the shows are Willy Wonka, uh, Annie Get Your Gun, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, Aladdin, uh, Little Mermaid, Wicked and The Lion King. And we also offer a, a feature opening and closing number from The Lion King with some guest performers uh, and, and some really huge opening numbers. Uh, we, do, we do Circle of Life for our opening number, which is a huge entrance piece, which really you know, kicks off the show. <laughs> Well, it's a full-scale uh, musical theater program that we offer for students in grades three through five. Uh, every student who auditions uh, has a chance to be on stage. Uh, we, we, we actually have auditions, but we don't turn anyone away. So we've had cast uh, numbers as high as, I think 109 was the largest cast that we had. Uh, this year's cast is 86, so it's a, a, a nominal figure by, by comparison, I guess. Still 86 kids on stage, it's a lot of work. Well, it partly is the design of the program. We, we have developed a model that uh, uses musical review as our style, so it allows us to feature a number of different shows. And by featuring a number of different shows, we run scenes that we can cast anywhere from 12 to 16 kids in each scene. So they have their own scene to do, but then they are also involved in full cast numbers, which allows them to be part of the larger cast. So, you know, we're able to have those 86, but they're broken up into six different scenes, uh, excluding the full company numbers when all 86 of them are, are on stage. So that's a handful. I mean, we try to lay it out to the kids right from the get-go what the expectations are. You know, this is not a, you know, just it's not just an after-school program where kids are coming to just hang out with their friends. They're, they're coming to work hard. And we, we push them, we challenge them a lot over the course of the five, six months that we do the program. So it's sort of slow at first because we start early in September, right at the beginning of school year. And then so we only see them on a scattered basis. And then as we get closer towards the holidays, then we start having some full cast rehearsals where they all come together and share what they've done so far. And so it's a process of sort of building that larger cast and building a, a sense of of, of teamwork amongst the entire cast. And then this is the week really when things all start to gel and all the puzzle pieces start to fall into place. And, you know, and that's the exciting part to see them get excited about the stage and about the props and the costumes and everything. It's, and they see all the hard work that goes into it. And, and usually their response is appropriate and they, they are on board and um, you know, they, they give their all as best they can. I'd say it's pretty much on par. Oftentimes things will seem a little bit rough, even in show week, you know, because they're getting used to some new spaces and new places. They, they, today was the first day that some of these kids were up on this stage. So I've been speaking about the space uh, up until this point, and we've worked on the floor and taped it out so they can see how big things are going to be. But until they're actually up on the stage, it, it really doesn't gel for them. So it's physically getting up here that helps them to sort of solidify their part, their role, their scene. Um, not to mention that they feel the sense of importance because when they're up there and the other kids are in the Greek chorus and watching and you know everyone wants to do well when everyone's watching. So, so now the pressure's on a little bit. And hopefully that pressure is a, a good motivator. I'll tell you right now, you could look at the members of uh, cast in, in, in any of the shows in the past few years and a lot of them are Beaver Meadow graduates and kids who started right on this stage. And, and a lot of them are kids who've come back and they're helping with all the tech. Um, you know, they've hung some lights, they've done the lighting, they, they help run the sound boards, they uh, run the lighting board. Uh, you know, they basically become the technicians of the show. Um, and they feel a sense of obligation too. You know, they started back at SAP and so it's not unusual for them to come back and help out. A lot of our graduates have gone on and, and pursued uh, uh, theater and performing arts in, in a professional sense, and gone on to study at college. Um, uh, it, you know, the, we, we see that all the time. Um, we haven't been fortunate enough to have some, some of those alumni come back and, and, and help with, uh, uh, with the SAP program. But we do have a lot of alumni parents who come back. Interestingly enough, uh, uh, we were 
commenting that the other day that we have some parents that come back whose kids haven't been here for years but they were sort of uh, part of that tradition years back and they feel a sense of obligation a real sense of community which is really kind of what this program is all about it's, it's sort of etched into this this part of town and people know sap uh, around beaver meadow you know they, they know what that means um, and that uh, runs on the um, uh, 13th, 14th, and 15th of February, this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. All shows are at 7 o'clock. Tickets are $6 for adults, $4 for students. Uh, and hey, we'd love to have people come out and see the show. We usually do.